here's some easy stretches that you can do at your desk or at your table to help you if your low back is bothering you or just to release some tension that you feel building in the lower quarter. So what you're gonna do is sit on your chair and face your desk. You're gonna put your hands on your desktop and you're going to sit back into your chair. So scoot your chair back, scoot your stool back or already place it there. And you're going to rest your head down and push through the front of your armpits and let your head come down. You should feel a nice pull from the back of the shoulders all the way down into the low back. You're gonna use the breath here to help create an additional pull and to get your core engaged and breathe in through your belly. Don't let your shoulders raise when you breathe in. Breathe out. Send your breath into your pelvis and draw your ribs down and in as you breathe out. Again, breathe in through your belly, keeping your shoulders relaxed. And breathe out. Cinch your ribs down and in together, as empty as you can. And one more breath here. You should feel a strong stretch, but no pain. If it's painful, back up on the stretch a little bit. Okay, now you're going to come back up and take one leg and cross the ankle at your knee. Now, a lot of people will want to fold the knee down and then lean forward onto that, but we want to stretch more muscles in the piriformis here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit up tall, draw the knee on the outside up towards the opposite shoulder, and you should feel a really strong stretch in the outside of your glute here. Again, strong stretch but not pain. You can hold for 30 seconds. You can also do the stretch lying down with the same configuration, taking your ankle and pulling it in the knee in towards your opposite shoulder. And same thing on the other side. Take your leg, crisscross at the knee, make sure you're sitting up tall, grab the outside of your knee, pull in and up towards the opposite shoulder. Make sure you're not collapsing into your chest to get the best stretch. You wanna be as upright as possible. Next, we're going to stretch the hamstring. So what you'll do is stick your leg out, sit up tall, and lean forward and hold for a count of 30 seconds. This should not be painful. Now, if you notice any numbness or tingling, or if you do have sciatica where a pain is going down the leg or even numbness or tingling in the leg or foot, don't do this one because it will irritate your sciatic nerve. What you should do instead is a nerve glide, which is you a special stretch for the nerve where you take the stretch on and then immediately take it off. So you'll put your hands behind your back, slouch, and you're gonna kick your leg out till you feel a stretch and then bring it back in. Kick your leg out to a stretch and bring it back in. Kick your leg out to a stretch and bring it back in. You could do up to 10 to 15 of those or until any symptoms start to increase. The last stretch is a stretch for your hip flexors to help reduce the pull on your low back. So what you'll do is take your stool seat or uh, your chair and bring it back behind you. You're gonna take your fingertips and have them resting on the top of uh, your desk. You're gonna take that foot and rest your shin on your chair and you're going to pull your thighs in together. Make sure your thighs are touching each other. You're going to bring your knees so that they're lined up side by side with each other and then you're gonna stand up as tall as you can. You might feel a pretty intense stretch here already. If you don't, you're gonna tuck your tailbone in and push to the front of your hip to feel a strong stretch in the front of the thigh. Hold that for 30 seconds and then repeat on the other side. Your back should be feeling nice and loose and free to move and do other things.